Welcome to Excel Magic Trick 1893. And yes, this is a funny thumbnail. Think you know how to calculate sales in Excel? But sometimes we get a complicated situation, and we have to pull out all the tricks from up our sleeve. Now, I know all of you who watch Excel is Fun regularly, you guys have no problem with this. But most people in the world, when they bump into a problem like this, it's going to give them trouble until they figure it out. Now, here's the situation. We have a sales table. We have units. We need to look up the price. And we have a discount table based on the number of units. Now, the first thing we're going to need to do is extract the first three characters. But when we do that, we're going to have a problem matching it up against this product ID. But we'll figure that out. Then we'll look up the price multiplied by units. And then we somehow, without adding a discount column, need to incorporate the discount right into the formula. Now, the first thing is, here's the product ID. And we're just going to have to extract the first three characters. Now, there's two ways we can do this. And since this table only has product IDs with three characters, it's perfectly all right to use the left function. I'm just going to say, hey, Description, Control Shift Down Arrow, Control Backspace. For each one of those descriptions, comma, I need you to go three characters in and extract it. Control Enter. Now, if you have a varying length for your product ID and you're not sure how many characters in to extract from the left, well, Microsoft 365 gives us so many amazing new functions. Text before. Here's the text, Control Shift Down Arrow, Control Backspace, comma. And the delimiter is a dash. Be sure to put it in double quotes. Close, Control Enter. It gives us exactly the same thing. But here's another problem. It looks like 375 matches up against 375. But if you equal sign, just to check, I'm going to say, hey, are you equal to 375? False. F2, we can prove why. Double click that E5 and F9 to evaluate. Double click G12 and F9. You are not allowed to match text numbers against number numbers. Now, I remember at an accounting conference, the Poodle Dog Restaurant in Tacoma, Washington, I showed them how to solve this problem. And a bunch of accountants in the room were like, how come I didn't see this trick years ago? And when you're in the Excel worksheet, the fix is simple. Any math operation on a text number will convert it to a number number, F2. You could times 1. Notice that doesn't change the value, backspace, backspace. Add 0. You can also double negative at the front. Double negative tends to calculate more quickly than the other math operations. But when I control Enter, Bam, that default alignment to the right tells me now I have a number number. And you can notice down here, we get a true. Now we have our lookup value, F2. After the equal sign, X lookup, there's a lookup value, comma, lookup array, comma, return array. I'm trying to get the price. Now, the default match mode is exact match, which is what we want. We're looking up exactly some product ID and matching it against a product ID. Close, Control, Enter, and now we have the price, F2. Well, we can multiply it by units. Control, Shift, Down Arrow, Control, Backspace. Control, Enter, there's the sales before discount. Now we need to just get the discount. F2. And I want to multiply times the discount. And a discount table like this always is sorted smallest to biggest. And because that characteristic is true about this lookup table, I'm not using XLOOKUP. I'm going to use LOOKUP. This is the original lookup function all the way back to the first spreadsheet, VisiCalc. It only does approximate match lookup. And it requires that the table is sorted smallest to biggest. For lookup value, highlight all the units, Control Shift Down Arrow, Control Backspace. And since we're doing approximate match lookup, for example, this 60 
It'll race through, bump into the first one bigger, jump back, and it knows to apply 40% discount. You can also think of looking up 60. Hey, I need an exact match or the next smaller. And here's why we're going to use lookup. Because that array, I just highlight the table. Lookup is always programmed to look through the first column and get a match. And it doesn't matter how many columns you give it. It only gets the value from the last column. Close parentheses, Control, Enter. Oh, I made a mistake. That's the discount amount. And sure enough, for this particular order, there's the discount. But instead of making a complicated formula, I'm going to use a little trick here. Hey, if we have $1 and the discount is 40%, $1 minus 40 pennies will give us 60 pennies. So we're paying 60 pennies for every $1. Open parentheses, 1 minus at the end, close, Control, Enter, and bam, finally we have our sales formula. All right, that was a little fun with a simple calculation. I just need to calculate sales, but we ran into a bunch of trouble, and no problem, we had a bunch of tricks. All right, we'll see you next Excel magic trick.